Did you know that 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck? That's right, nearly 8 out of 10 people are one emergency away from financial disaster. Now think of personal finance as dieting. Just as you wouldn't devour an entire cake in one sitting, you can't spend all your money at once either. Budgeting is your financial fitness coach, helping you trim the fat and get financially fit. So ready to break a sweat and dive into different methods of budgeting? Let's get started, shall we? First up, we have the traditional budgeting method, the granddaddy of all budgeting methods. It's like the typewriter of budgeting. Old-fashioned, but it gets the job done. Now, what is this traditional budgeting method? Picture it like a financial diet. You count every single penny just like you'd count every calorie on a diet. You track your income and compare it to your expenses. The idea is to spend less than you earn. Pretty straightforward, right? But here's the catch. This method requires discipline. It's like sticking to a strict diet. You have to track every coffee you buy, every movie ticket you purchase. It's a bit like being a detective on your own financial case, always on the lookout for where your money is sneaking off to. The perks? Well, you get to know your spending habits inside out. It's like taking a magnifying glass to your finances. You'll soon realize that those daily lattes add up and are eating away at your savings. It's a wake-up call to your wallet, so to speak. But just like that old typewriter, it can be time-consuming. You need to manually log every transaction, every bill payment, every shopping spree. It's not for the faint-hearted or the time poor. And let's not forget, it requires consistency. You can't just do it for a month and forget about it. It's a bit like going to the... You can't expect to see results if you only go once. It's long-term commitment. But just like your grandma's secret recipe that has been passed down through generations, it works. Might be a bit old school, but it's tried and tested. It gives you a detailed snapshot of your financial and helps you keep your spending in check. So, if you're up for the challenge, and you have the time and discipline, this could be the budgeting method for you. Your detective hat on, and start tracking those pennies. So remember, traditional budgeting is like your grandma's recipe, it might be old, but it's certainly reliable. If you're finding video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more budgeting tips and tricks. Now imagine if every dollar you earned had a job. That's zero-based budgeting for you, the Marie Kondo of budgeting methods. Picture this, you're the director of a school play, and every single dollar is an actor. There are no extras hanging around backstage waiting for their chance to shine. Each dollar has a role to play, and they're all stars. Zero-based budgeting is a method where every dollar of income you earn is assigned a specific purpose. It's named zero-based because the idea is to make your income minus your expenses equal zero at the end of each month. But don't panic. Zero in this context doesn't mean you're broke. It means you've given every dollar a purpose, a job to do. Think of it like this. You're the boss, and the dollars are your employees. You need to assign them tasks, whether it's paying the bills, going towards your retirement savings, or covering the cost of those much-needed yoga classes to keep your sanity intact. The beauty of this method is that it offers a high level of control over your finances. It's the control freak's dream. You know where every cent is going, and you have the power to redirect it if need be. It's a hands-on approach that requires some time and dedication, but it can be incredibly rewarding. However, just like a stage play, zero-based budgeting requires regular rehearsals and adjustments. You need to review your budget often to make sure everyone is playing their part correctly. If you find a dollar slacking off, you can quickly reassign it to a more productive ole. In essence, zero-based budgeting is about making your money work for you, not the other way around. It's about being proactive with your finances and taking the driver's seat in managing your money. So if you're tired of your dollars lazing around, causing trouble and disappearing without a trace, it might be time to give them a job. Zero-based budgeting, it's like giving every dollar a day job so they're not lazing around and causing trouble. It's not just a budgeting method, it's a lifestyle change. One that could bring order to your financial chaos and make your money drama a thing of the past. Ever heard of the envelope budgeting method? It's like the vinyl record of budgeting. Old school but still very cool. You see, this method is a blast from the past, a method that our grandparents probably used. It's simple, it's tactile, and it's got that vintage charm that just won't quit. Now imagine you've got a handful of candies and a bunch of eager kids. How do you ensure that each kid gets their fair share without any squabbles or hurt feelings? You'd probably divide the candies equally among them, right? Well, that's exactly what envelope budgeting is all about. Just replace the candies with your income and the kids with your expense categories. You've got an envelope for groceries, one for utilities, 
one for emergencies and so on. Each category gets its share, and no one's allowed to steal from the others. It's about as democratic as budgeting gets. The real beauty of envelope budgeting lies in its simplicity. It's a hands-on method that gives you a clear picture of where your money is going. It's like having a mini financial advisor in your pocket, guiding you on how to spend your hard-earned cash. But it's not just about control, it's also about empowerment. By assigning every dollar a job, you're taking charge of your financial destiny. You're not just spending mindlessly, you're making intentional, informed decisions. And that, my friends, is a game changer. Of course, this method isn't without its quirks. For one, it's a bit old-fashioned. There's no fancy app, no sophisticated algorithm, just good old pen, paper, and envelopes. And then there's the discipline factor. You've got to be strict with your envelopes, no borrowing allowed. But hey, who said budgeting should be a walk in the park? So, if you're up for a bit of a challenge, and you love the idea of getting hands-on with your money, then envelope budgeting might just be your jam. It's like going back to basics, stripping away the complications and focusing on what really matters. It's about taking control, making informed decisions, and achieving financial freedom. Envelope budgeting, it's all about playing fair and square with your money. Last but not least, we have the 50-30-20 budgeting method. It's like the microwave dinner of budgeting, quick, easy, and surprisingly effective. This approach breaks down your income into three slices just like a pizza. You know, because personal finance should be as easy as ordering a pizza, right? So, let's slice it up. Half of your income goes to the needs category. This is the cheese of your pizza, the non-negotiable, must-have topping. We're talking about necessities like rent, utilities, and groceries. You know, the stuff that keeps the lights on and your stomach full. Next up, we have the wants. This makes up 30% of your income. Think of it as your favorite pizza topping. It's not essential, but boy does it make life tastier. These are the little luxuries in life like dining out, catching the latest movie, or that cute outfit you've been eyeing. Lastly, we've got the remaining 20%. This is the crust of your pizza, the part that holds everything together. This portion is reserved for savings or paying off debt. It's about future-proofing your financial health so you can enjoy that pizza worry-free. The beauty of the 50-30-20 method is its simplicity. It's flexible enough to fit different income levels and lifestyles, yet structured enough to give you clear financial direction. So whether you're a pepperoni lover or a plain cheese kind of person, this method's got you covered. The 50-30-20 method, because who said budgeting can't be as easy as 1-2-3? So, which budgeting method should you choose? Well, that's like asking which ice cream flavor is the best. It all depends on your taste. Now let's choosing a budgeting method is like picking a movie genre. Are you into drama, action, or comedy? Do you prefer the suspense of not knowing where your next dollar is going, like a thrilling drama? Then perhaps the traditional budgeting method is your cup of tea. Or maybe you're all about action, wanting to be in control of every single penny that comes and goes. The zero-based budgeting method would be your action-packed blockbuster. Perhaps you're a fan of comedy and simplicity, and you just want to keep things light and breezy. In that case, the 50-30-20 method might be your romantic comedy, offering you a simple and flexible approach to managing your finances. But wait, maybe you're an old-school cool, preferring tangible cash and envelopes to digital trackers and apps. Well, there's a method for that too, the envelope budgeting method. Just like movie genres, each budgeting method has its own unique charm and appeal. It's about understanding your financial goals, your lifestyle, and your personal preferences. What works for one person may not work for another, and that's okay. Experiment with different methods, play around with them, and see which one fits you best. After all, managing your personal finance is not a one-size-fits-all scenario. Remember, the best budgeting method is the one that you can stick to, so choose wisely and start taking control of your finances. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more budgeting tips and tricks.